This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 141. I feel so used, and you should too, by Colin Wright of ExileLifestyle.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. going on old friends welcome back to old or old or optimal living daily whatever you want to call this show and i'm justin mollick the creator producer editor narrator marketer and financial advisor of this podcast it's a lot of work seriously you just see how many mistakes i have to edit out when i'm reading it's crazy when i first thought of this idea i was like hey i'm a pretty decent reader and if i build on that it'd probably help with my social anxiety should be pretty easy yeah, well, that doesn't include the time it takes to set up and to find the right articles that are the right length with the right content, to record in complete silence, edit the episodes, write the descriptions, tag the MP3s and upload them, share them on Twitter, get the posts up on oldpodcast.com and reach out to the authors, all that stuff. It's kind of nuts. And I'm not complaining. It's great that I'm able to work on my social anxiety this way, and I really appreciate you listening to this show. I really do. It means a lot. And... If you want to help, there are a lot of options. Uh, sharing the show with someone today, just one person, showing them how to subscribe to the podcast would be huge. And you can also support by being part of the mailing list. That's a great way to actively show that you like what you hear. And you can do that through my site, oldpodcast.com. Or if you want to go crazy, the most extreme way is to contribute, which you can do through the website, again, oldpodcast.com. And I almost forgot I'm giving away a book by The Minimalist tomorrow, so you need to be on my mailing list today if you want to be in the drawing to win it. I think that's enough for the intro, don't you? Let's get to it and start optimizing your life. I feel so used, and you should too, by Colin Wright of ExileLifestyle.com. I admit it, one of the first things I think when I meet someone is, how will this person be useful to me? It's not really a conscious thing, it's more of one of those reflexive tendencies that everyone has, but only a few overanalyzers take the time to acknowledge. But it's definitely happening, and this initial impression can have a drastic impact on what kind of relationship you will form with someone new. I understand it sounds really cold to just flat out say, I'm using you and you're using me, so let me clarify. While it's true that we may consider personal gain first, all healthy relationships will involve a balance of benefit for everyone involved. Each and every participant will be benefiting about the same and therefore the quote-unquote greediness will in fact allow for balance rather than creating a benefit deficit for any one person. Consider this. I walk into a gallery opening and strike up a conversation with a well-dressed 40-something from Spain. We discuss the art on the walls, his business and my business, exchange cards, and I introduce him to someone else I know who's also at the gallery. What just happened? On the surface, it was just another interaction at a networking event. It happens every day in every city in the world, and few people think twice about it. But if you do take a second to think twice, you'll realize that I started the conversation with this particular gentleman because I was looking to establish a familiar group of friends at this gallery for this night, which makes it easier to network, as most people at events full of strangers are just looking for a group to take them in. He may have spoken to me for the same reason, or he may have spoken to me because he works in the broadcast industry and I'm in his demographic, which provides him with direct feedback from a potential viewer. In discussing the art, I may be able to tell him about the influences of the painter, thanks to my art history minor in college, and he may be able to tell me all about his hometown in Spain, which is information a travel-curious person like myself craves. By asking him about his business, I was trying to learn about a trade different from my own, which is incredibly valuable for a generalist like myself, while at the same time finding out if he needed my services. In discussing his and my businesses, the Spaniard was gaining insight into what kind of industries and methods of communication are in for a demographic he needs to keep up with, while simultaneously adding another potential contractor to his call list in case the studio needs someone to create some motion graphics for their next project. To top it off, by introducing the Spaniard to another friend of the gallery, I've gained points in the eyes of both people while they have both gained access to new contacts and resources hand-picked for them by a person who already knows something about what they are looking for. We're all making use of each other for our own purposes, but everyone is gaining equally. And this is the main difference between being a good networker or friend or half of a couple 
and being just so-so at it. Being socially talented means you are able to recognize the exchange of value and make sure that others are compensated when they give up themselves for your gain. In other words, if you want to have an ample supply of people to use, be as useful as possible. This isn't as easy as it sounds. It's actually incredibly tricky because when you exchange social value, you're not trading dollars for dollars. In fact, every single person is using a thousand different kinds of currency and sometimes a few bills of each kind are used in a single relationship. Also consider this. When I'm in a relationship, I might use my partner as a networking wingman, sounding board for new ideas, accomplice for ridiculous schemes, professional contact, and muse. She, on the other hand, might find more value in me as an emotional support system, comrade at arms for obscure causes, mentor or mentee, productivity taskmaster, and taxi driver if she doesn't have transportation and I do. Both of us would have very different needs, but so long as they're all being fulfilled, the relationship should remain healthy because the balance has been maintained. Bad relationships. Most of us are familiar with what happens when this balance gets out of whack. One person or the other starts to feel used or like they're investing more in the relationship than the other. Feelings may be hurt, bonds may be broken, and the relationship itself could cease to exist, or even worse, mutate into something hateful rather than useful. This should be avoided at all costs, and if you feel that any relationship is starting to go down this road, it's time to figure out how balance can be reestablished. If the only use you can derive from someone else is the comfort of their presence, it may be time to transform the relationship into a simple friendship rather than getting married or starting a business together. Be aware of the balance in existing relationships and make an effort to create more effective and mutually beneficial relationships with everyone you meet, and you'll see immediate results. It will get easier and easier to keep up with the complex social dynamics of any interaction. Also, take the time to be more useful and you'll find that it becomes easier to identify the people in your life who are really valuable and those who are just along for the ride. You just listened to the post titled, I Feel So Used and You Should Too by Colin Wright of ExileLifestyle.com. So I want to clear up something really quickly. It's kind of funny, actually, that in the intro, I talked about how there's all this work associated with podcasting that many people might not think about. And then I read a post about feeling used. And I just want to make it clear that I do not feel used in the slightest, not by anyone, not by you for listening. Even if you haven't actually shown your support, that's totally fine. And not for the authors who get the extra publicity. I love my authors. It was my decision to start this podcast. And for me, It's a way to talk more, to be more comfortable with my own voice, practice talking ad lib and getting over social anxiety so I don't feel used at all. And in fact, the opposite, I'm extremely grateful for you being here. So yeah, it was just coincidence. I was talking about all that stuff and then read a post about feeling used. And now that that's out of the way, if you would like to show some support, like I mentioned earlier, there are three really easy ways and any of them are a huge help. You simply show someone how to subscribe to the show, You can join my mailing list at oldpodcast.com or you can go a step further and become a patron of the show at oldpodcast.com. I will not feel used if you don't, but those are three amazing ways you can give back. And don't forget, you need to be on my mailing list today if you want to be entered to win a book tomorrow. The book is Minimalism, Live a Meaningful Life by the Minimalists. And a lucky winner on my mailing list is going to get the book for free. That is 141 episodes down. I'll be back tomorrow with the usual Siver Sunday episode, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.